we got a three pack of news for you guys today. Nintendo uh, dropping some sick news about Kirby. We, we also have a leak thanks to a data mine of a major Nintendo game. So I'm really excited to dive into this news. Not back on camera yet. We'll talk about that towards the end of the video. Why I am not, at least in this video, maybe the next. But before I do, I want to remind you that we are on our road to 100,000 subscribers. And if we can get there by the time Tears of the Kingdom comes out, we will be giving away a collector's edition of Tears of the Kingdom. So what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button and let's get into that news. First up, Nintendo dropped a six-minute overview trailer of Kirby's Return to Dreamland Deluxe. It's a beautiful trailer because Kirby's Return to Dreamland Deluxe is a beautiful game. In there, they talk about two of the new copy abilities. So they talk about how the mecha lets you fly a little bit, which, I mean, Kirby already can do that, so sure. But anyways, it also allows you to do some cool punches and shoot a freaking laser beam. So if you ever wanted to do that, I guess that's the thing you could do now. There's also a new sand ability that lets you avoid attacks and lets you summon a sandstorm, which, and you know what? What at this point can't Kirby do? It also details how Megalore can help you during the game by doubling your health and saving you from falls and giving you items during boss fights, yada yada. The point is, it's like an easy mode, okay? So it's an easy mode for the game. It does also introduce the Merry Megaland that has a bunch of sub-games and you can play them with friends. It's like a mini-game mayhem mode. It details extra content as well, so that new content called the Megalore Epilogue. I don't want to dive too much into that because that's brand new content. I don't want to spoil it all for you, but it's has some details in this six minute overview trailer. There's also an extra mode that is unlocked after your first playthrough. That is basically a higher difficulty. You have fewer items, less health, helping items in your playthrough, more enemies, and this is what's really neat. They actually made the boss AI better. So they made the boss AI fights harder. So cool, that is really awesome. Glad to see that addition. They also added an arena mode, which is a boss rush mode. And of course, reminder, there's a demo available. So yeah, this is an amazing experience. I'm really happy. Let's move on to our next story, which also has to do with another game coming out this month. It actually comes out in a week, and that is Octopath Traveler 2. The reviews are in a week early, and it is sitting at an 84 overall on Metacritic and Open Critic. This is actually notable because that's a smidge higher than the original critically acclaimed game, Octopath Traveler, which landed at an 80. Three. Now, there is a demo available to play of the game right now if you want to see if this holds up to your expectations. It releases next week. We'll put a pre-order link to the physical version down in the description. Shop. We'll have a physical version pre-order link as well for Kirby. See, if you guys want to go nab those games, that's awesome. It's also notable. This isn't really originally part of our news. Tales of Symphonia Remastered dropped today, but it's an embarrassment. You shouldn't buy it. I'm sorry. If you're someone who's never played the game and you were looking forward to it, this ain't it. Just... Just don't buy this version of the game. It's bad. I don't even want to dive into it. It's really bad. It's an embarrassment. And it makes me feel bad because this is one of my favorite JRPGs of all time. But whatever. Not everyone gets it right. Like Nintendo did with Metro Prime Remaster and Kirby's Return to Dreamland Deluxe. Honestly, they did a lot with Dreamland Deluxe. And I'm, I'm, I'm really, really happy for that game. That being said, let's get into the last story we have today, and this deals with a leak. Now, we get leaks like this every now and again, uh, and this time we're talking about Xenoblade Chronicles 3 Wave 3 DLC because it has been data mined to reveal cutscene names, and, well, there's a bunch of small spoilers in here of certain character names and locations. Again, I don't want to say this stuff out loud because I don't want to spoil it, but here's a look at the data mine itself on screen. You can feel free to pause the screen around here if you would like to actually check out all of these leaks. I don't want to list them off and spoil the game too much for people. What's interesting, of course, to me is that this stuff obviously happens. Data mining is something Nintendo's well aware of. All companies are at this point. Anytime you release anything that the public can access, it's going to be data mined. So, these are probably considered minor spoilers because of that, but they're still spoilers. Long time Xenoblade Chronicles fans, and like those are the ones that are really going to see some interesting spoilers in this batch. Also, I'm really, really excited for Tears of the Kingdom. Nintendo has continued their marketing campaign, and they dropped a brand new screenshot 
sort of brand new, okay? It's not actually brand new. They released it with their press package. But because it was something that Nintendo themselves has never posted before, it made people want to kind of zoom in and see if they could find anything new. Look, this screenshot is something, again, that we've already looked at and examined. Some people are, are trying to, like, pick out little things that look different compared to the last game. Of course, there's going to be things that look different. So that is kind of something. I also want to know that Nintendo did remind us as well that uh, their Breath of the Wild's on sale right now. Uh, it's on sale for only another two days, and they are selling Breath of the Wild for just $40. 40 buckaroonies on the Nintendo Switch eShop, and I even have the DLC discounted down to 12 bucks. So they're really trying to get people to get into Breath of the Wild and reminding people that this sale ends soon. Again, I'm just throwing this out there. This is sort of a bonus story because it happened right as I was wrapping things up. Uh, also, by the way, they did their grand opening for the Super Mario World. I don't know that, or Super Mario World, Super Nintendo World uh, out in L.A. It's actually been open for a little bit, but they did a grand opening with Miyamoto and Doug Bowser was there. And obviously all the images coming out of Super Nintendo World look absolutely incredible and make me jealous because I'm really, really into theme parks. And I don't know if and when I'm going to get to visit this. I was hoping that Nintendo would be at E3 this year and then I would make a trip to uh, Super Nintendo World while I was out visiting E3, but since that's not happening, I'm not sure when I'll make a trip, but uh, who knows? I mean, if they add a Zelda land, which I, I guess children, pack your bags, baby! We're going! <laughs> but uh, until then, we're going to we're gonna hold back a bit. It's an expensive trip to bring the family on. That being said, that's all of our news for today, so I wanted to end by just telling you guys why we're not on camera right now. Uh, I have been feeling under the weather for the last week, and Honestly, well, I feel a little bit better every day. My headache doesn't. I, my headache from whatever this is, a cold, COVID, whatever, just keeps getting worse every day. Every day I wake up, the headache is worse and worse and worse. Obviously, if this continues, we'll be making a second trip to the doctors because I don't like that the headache part's getting worse while nothing else really is. So I'm not really sure what's going on there. I hope it's not sleep deprivation because I've been getting extra sleep in. Maybe I'm getting too much sleep. I don't know. So that's kind of why I haven't been on camera because I'm not always feeling the greatest and don't know if I can bring that energy. That being said, I took some medicine earlier and it's starting to kick in. So I, if I make another video today, I might actually come on camera if I'm feeling up to it. Uh, but that's sort of what's been going on around here. You guys all have your own issues and sick and family and everything that you deal with. So I'm not really complaining. I just wanted to explain. Anyways, you guys are amazing and awesome and epic. Remember that. Remember to love yourself. Remember to tell your loved ones that you love them today because we should appreciate every day that we exist on this lovely planet that we call Earth. I am your host of Nintendo Prime, Nathaniel Rumpeljantz, and I'll catch you in the next video.